Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Resilience with your host, me, Wintertooth100. And in today's episode, we are going to continue on this castle. This is episode 25, which gives us five episodes to finish this thing. So we are definitely going to be working on this quite a bit over the next few episodes. Let's swap my view around. In the last episode, we also worked on these walls and we got uh, all of the connecting pieces in between for... A lot of these sections we also got the back section of that wall which we did not have originally and it's it's starting to turn out looking really good I have been watching the original video featuring Castle Honor Guard where I first discovered it and I am learning some new stuff about it uh, one of those things that I'm learning is that the outer walls did not <laughs> his design did not include matriculations which of course my design does so, slight difference in design there. Uh, so, matriculations. It's that little hole right there that archers can shoot you through. Uh, that wasn't exactly on his original design. The original design, uh, because of the terrain the castle was built on, get, being able to get up that close to the wall to be able to hide was really, really difficult and so it was deemed unnecessary to include it in the original design. I guess technically mine's the same way. Being able to get all the way up to the, the very base of it would be very difficult because most people attacking from the three directions that are not from the north, <laughs> uh, they're all covered in water so getting to them would be uh, quite challenging. But we have them anyway. I think it looks nice. Uh, so we're going to continue with building this thing up. We're going to try to do some of this, this outer wall stuff, and try to get it worked out. And uh, we'll go over that a little bit once I return. I'm going to do it all off camera, of course, because it's incredibly tedious. And uh, I don't think you guys are going to enjoy watching it exactly. So I'm going to throw this together. And we're going to talk about it a little bit after that. Alright guys, we had to restart the server. I did a little work here. And kind of have these walls framed out a little bit where the centerpieces are going to be. I'm a little skeptical that all of these are going to work out and look nice. So there might still be a little tinkering we have to do. Like like this bit of the wall seems really strange to me. Look, look at this. Hard angle that way. Hard angle that way. Hard, it's like a bunch of angles stacked next to each other but because of this this specific uh, direction that we chose with it that's kind of how the centerpieces all had to be so I'm hoping it turns out okay <laughs> and uh, yeah we got them work all the way around through here the only ones I didn't do it for was obviously this one which I could do of course I ran out of torches just now but basically I've just been making sure that uh, both the fronts and back. See, like, this is a four block gap. I did not expect that, and so I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, should be an easy fix. But, yeah, see, now we have a weird four block gap here, but that should be fine. This particular section right here is going to be weird anyway. There's a, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's just like a really weird wall that connects from that wall to this wall. And it's the same height as that wall all the way across and connects up. And that's to help with fortification in the front here. Uh, so we have some leeway with things lining up there and working out. This wall, however, I think is going to be very strange. If we do our classic stair right here and stair right here, that'll be fine. We have a few areas where some of the stairs, like right here, look. The stair, like the wall and the, and the stone wall are flush with each other. Ooh. I need to fix that that's that's not supposed to be like that uh, but they're not like these are flush with each other so we end up with the stair being kind of poked out from it but that looks perfectly fine we're totally okay with that and that's essentially what's gonna happen on this back wall right here is that we're going to have a stair that pokes out from here because these two are flush and it pretty much continues all the way down the wall and on the front side it is the opposite where the stair will be right here and because these two are flush so I think it's gonna work out but it's the only wall that I've put together so far where the two pillars are right next to each other from the front and back sides 
So I'm not sure how that's going to turn out, but I think it's going to be okay. You see they all have this one block gap right here, and that's kind of what I've been basing everything around, is there's this one block gap here. But this particular wall does not have that, and it might just be because of the particular angle. But, you know, these are just some of the things that we're learning as we as we build this this castle on on angles on on diagonals uh never done it before and you know so we're just learning some stuff but we had to restart the server because we are now officially you see there in the top left hand corner 113.1 we are now 113.1 and so hopefully that means the server will be a little more optimized uh i know we had a member of the server who's saying that they wanted to wait to do more videos until the new version came out so hopefully that means we're going to get more videos from them uh, now that 113 is officially up and running on our server it was my fault I had uh, every day I've been checking to see well every day yesterday and today I guess <laughs> uh, I've been checking to see if 113.1 was available on the server yet and it was not showing up as an option so I asked customer service uh, if they had any idea when it would be available <laughs> and the guy got back to me and gave me my answer before I tell you that answer I'd like you guys to know that I always leave the web page open for the server I just always leave it open so I can always see if something's going on if the servers struggling to do something it's always open and so the guy's answer was have you refreshed your web page because it won't show up until you refresh your web page. I'm like, no, I did not do that. So I refreshed it, and sure enough, it was there. And he let me know that they usually have the new versions up within about five minutes of their release. And so now I'm like, oh, well, I, we just waited almost 48 hours for it, and we only needed to wait five minutes. Okay. Well, it's up and running on the server now. Uh, I think Joe is online with me, yes. And uh, hopefully that means, hopefully Mojang's correct, and you know, things are smoother and yeah crossing my fingers I'm going to get the rest of these walls elevated and we will uh, convene after that because we're gonna have to do some terraforming in here uh, after we get these walls raised up so let me take care of that real quick all right so we've done some work here at the front of the castle you can kind of see this, this we're gonna one of the pillars are gonna be the like the towers and then there's kind of a tower right there as well I just kind of have their hard shape put in. I've mostly been making sure I get the terraforming of the land right and making sure all the things are level. So you see we got all these dirt walls just kind of holding the position of where the actual walls are going to be. And I filled the whole thing with gravel. We'll, we'll spruce this up. We're definitely going to come in with like gray concrete powder, you know, so the other materials so it's not so bland. But the terrain slowly works its way up. And I chose gravel because well, it kind of matches what he did in his uh, design for it. But uh, imagine trying to, you're, you're running through gravel while being attacked on both sides from the tops of these walls. And you have to get war machines up through here. And they're on wooden wheels trying to push that through gravel. Like It just felt like gravel was the right, the right thing both cosmetically and practically for that kind of situation but I have been I haven't got the walls up just yet I need to grab my two gravel boxes and uh, I've been terraforming the outside of the wall over here trying to make it so we know what the lands gonna look like so we know how far to bring down the walls uh, otherwise we would just keep coming down indefinitely we probably get it wrong and have to redo the, the bottoms of them so I've been adding this outside bit and you can see it goes all the way down underwater and I was originally filling it in and then I remembered hold on this gravel is going to go on top of each of these and they're going to be completely hidden there's no reason for me to fill those in so let's grab some of the gravel so we can kind of get a look at what I'm talking about and we'll break that so there's the way this natural terrain seems to be generating is it'll be sand for a good chunk and then gravel and that means we're gonna have to go collect a bunch of sand 
to make it appear like it's a part of the natural terrain, the natural generation. And that's something I kind of want to do. But basically I just bob up and down here with my, with my gravel. And there'll be a few bits here where it'll be gravel because we're going to want to make it look natural. Like this piece of gravel is on the same level as the sand. And this level of sand is on the same level as this gravel. Like They kind of mix together where they meet. So we want to make sure we do that a little bit. But basically everything on the bottom here is all going to be gravel. And when we have all this in, we're going to have to come in and do some of this magic. Where we terraform some of this in. I know it's really hard to see. But just so you can kind of get a feel for it, make it look like it, it's naturally filled in right there. We're going to have to do it all the way around. And I just kind of want to give you guys a quick progress update of where we were on this wall. And let you know that we're also getting into the uh, final steps of the terraforming for the front bit of this. Once this is all worked out, then we can kind of pick and choose how tall these walls need to be. So as soon as I finish this, we'll be working on the exact dimensions of the wall. So that'll be really great. Let me finish filling this in, go collect some sand and fill in the rest of it. And uh, yeah, we'll have all that done in just a moment. Okay guys, so there is an obvious thing missing from the castle before I turn around. And that thing is, if you could notice it between the little gaps there, we ran out of coral. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to have to do some AFKing tonight before I can actually finish these walls and fill them in because I am completely out. But you'll take a, you'll notice there, take a little look under the water, you'll see we got all the sand put in. I even came through with some bone meal to kind of bring it to life. If you'll recall, there was even a little piece of the island that came out this way and I have submerged it and again planted some life on it to make it feel more real. But the big thing is, is I have the walls and you're going to notice a couple of weird things like right here, there's actually a slope. This part of the wall is actually a step lower than this part of the wall. And of course, this is just one giant step. This was really hard to work out and I'm really thankful I did not try to do that on camera because it was a nightmare to figure that out <laughs> to get the right little slope and get the crenellations looking good or Crenellations, the machiculations, that's what they're called. Uh, crenellations, the bit that comes out, the machiculation is actually the, the hole there, I believe, where you actually shoot your arrows through. Ooh, we got a little rubber banding. I've had a little issues with the server. I actually had to uh, restart the whole thing. I kept getting into a cycle of being kicked, and I'm afraid I might get kicked again. I'm going to walk, and maybe, maybe the server will like me more if I'm nice and slow. But I came through and I've tried to make sure as much of the outside was good. Uh, there's probably still some stuff on the outside I need to take another look at. So I'm going to have to actually circle around it again. And I got a little carried away with one section that we'll take a look at. But for now, this is inside of... You get a real feel for it now, don't you? This is inside of a... Uh, the word that I'm looking for the gatehouse <laughs> that's what it is so this is there'd be a gate right along in here and you'll see later what those are supposed to look like and a gate right along in here so the idea was oh and there's a drawbridge right here so first of all they have to be able to get up the drawbridge and once they get in here assuming they can get past the drawbridge this is yeah it's not too difficult but assuming they can get through the draw, up the drawbridge or cross the drawbridge or whatever, under fire from all the arrows, <laughs> uh, they'll make it into here where typically the first gate will just be open and the second gate's closed. So what they do is they send guys in to try to get this gate open and once people come in, they close this gate and then they dump boiling oil on their head or you know whatever for us it's gonna be lava we're gonna dump lava on their heads <laughs> but if you get through here you'll see that we have the walls on either side nice and tall you get a good feel for it it'll be even you'll feel it way better once we have these filled in we don't have these weird depth things like you can see the other side of the wall right there like it all right so it's a little strange but trust me it's gonna look it's gonna look so much better when the walls are filled in but you can even see all the way up to the towers. Towers can't quite shoot you. Basically, if you can't 
See how we can see this sliver of sky through here? If you can see through that, they can shoot you. Since we can't see the sliver of sky through that, the tower is basically not going to shoot you. Uh, there might be some angles where they can see you. Right there now we can kind of see it, so there's a good chance that the tower can hit you now. But you keep working your way through, and you'll have to wrap your way around. You see a door up there. That's a little something. This is where I went a little overboard. I kind of just started building one of the gatehouses because it was... I was afraid I squished this in too much and that I wasn't going to make this work, so in kind of like a moment of panic, I just started building to see if I can make it work. So here we go, we got the we got the gate on one side, gate on the other side, and you see where they get locked into place. And we come in, and so typically this one would be down, that one would be open. And again, once people come in, they'll close that gate, and here are the murder holes. This is where the lava will get dumped down onto them. Uh, but again, we make it through here, and we just keep moving, walls on either side, and right here, another gatehouse. And now we kind of have an idea of what the gatehouses look like, and then they'll continue through here, and right between the two taller stone blocks right there, gatehouse, uh-oh, rubber banding again, gonna get disconnected again. But we come on in, and finally we're on the inside where the castle is. Uh, hopefully we can do this before the server kicks us. On the back wall there, that's where the castle goes. That's why there's a chunk of the wall missing, because that's physically a part of the castle. Uh, I was looking at this from a camera account earlier. Uh, we are a bit squished. This is the dimensions for the castle are just a little wrong. These walls should be longer to allow more space in here. So, unfortunately, it's not going to be an exact replication of... We knew it wasn't going to be an exact replication. Look at these walls. We knew this wasn't going to be an exact replication. But... The castle appears to come out to just about in line with this tower, but then there's supposed to be an entire over here, kind of going in this direction. It's supposed to be an entire like jousting thing with some stands next to it. And if I pull up the image again real quick, yeah, we got stands that kind of wrap around to like watch the jousting area. There appears to be some sort of like housing over here, I imagine, for the soldiers. And that kind of lines up with the back of this thing that's not built yet. So this all, this section here kind of is like, like a big house. Then there's like a granary on the inside here. So if the castle is under siege for years and years, uh, they actually have a granary on the inside. So that's good for them. Then there's like some kind of stables along this wall. Uh, it's kind of hard to look at the image and try to figure out what goes where. Uh, but I think I got a pretty good feel for it, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out that we are not exactly to scale uh, Because we are just a little too squished just a little bit not not horrible, but we are a little squished the island is just a little small uh, Surprisingly, I thought we may have had too much space, but it's working out pretty great if uh, We grab I still have some building blocks over here. I believe in this one. Yeah So if we grab some of these blocks we can get ourselves to the top and the idea is so that this castle is as functional as possible obviously we can't get the the gates to go down without making them much larger and filling them with redstone but I've put doors on these guys set up some pressure plates so you can get through and so the tops of each of these things should be reachable and you can even go as far as climbing up this this guy right here and getting up to the top of these so you can actually get to the tops of the towers and yeah that's pretty neat I'm pretty excited about that that it's you know surprisingly functional but come down this way and be sure to close that and we can go either direction but I want to go this direction because if you're under siege the uh, they're gonna be expecting you to get to your battle stations fairly quickly and now you can see we're right here where all the murder pit things are. So <laughs> I'm really excited that the majority of this thing is uh, is functional. Like you can you can get through here. And for some reason, every time I relog in, that chunk never loads in. I always have to reload the section. But just imagine enemies at the front gate, and I'm a soldier running through this. Like I just ran from the center keep. Yes, I know I pillared up in the beginning. There's there's a, there'll actually be a way up there. <laughs> but I'd be running to the top of this gatehouse 
we'll be meeting the army on the bridge to kind of, you know, get our bows and arrows out and prepare for combat and just start attacking soldiers on the bridge and picking them off one at a time. So really excited for this. What else is going to be really great about this is we have that armor stand thing in here and I can actually put dummies up here like as if they're soldiers on patrol, put bows in their hands and really bring this thing to life. So super excited about that as well because we can really do a lot with that and we can actually get to this gatehouse uh, via the tops of these things and this door right here is the only one that's manual so far <laughs> but now we're at the top be careful not to fall in and each chest contains a bucket of lava and you just you know, right click it in there and let it fall down and kill some people <laughs> so again really excited about this uh, it's all starting to come together it's starting to look really really great so I don't know what else to say about this castle really uh, just that uh, this is episode 25, I believe. I, I said the episode number at the beginning of the, of the video, and now I just can't remember what it is because I've been working on this all day. <laughs> and, uh, yep, we need this done by episode 30 is the goal. 35 is the hard goal. Like, by episode 35, we are done here no matter what. Yeah, episode 30 is what I'm reaching for. I want to be done by 30, but 35 is the true, like, you don't have any more time to be here kind of goal. And if this is episode 25, that gives us five more episodes if we count episode 30 itself. Um, that gives us five more episodes to finish putting up all the walls, finish the skate houses, put the castle up, build the houses on the inside, all the stuff. So, yeah. And on top of that, we have the dragon fight next week. Um, I think we're going to do it next Saturday, so which means you guys won't see it for a couple weeks. Next week, my upload schedule is going to be a little, a little weird, guys. I, uh, I have family coming in. Mrs. Tooth has family coming in, if I'm being specific. We have family coming in, and, uh, well, I have some videos backed up, ready to go, so you guys aren't going to miss any content, but it's going to be from the Series 1 Life, so expect that. Uh, you, there might be... In fact, this episode that you're watching right now, this one, might be a part of one of those videos that's coming out as it's backed up, so just letting you know the next couple episodes are going to be one life. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going over the limit by <laughs> rambling on right now, so uh, I'm going to leave it right here. Leave a like if you liked, subscribe if you haven't, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next one.